हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड स्टेपर मोटर स्टेपर मोटर इज ए इलेक्ट्रोमैकेनिकल डिवाइस व्हिच जेनरेट्स द डिस्क्रीट डिस्प्लेसमेंट्स इन रेस्पॉन्स टू डीसी इलेक्ट्रिकल सिग्नल so a stepper motor is electromechanical device that will produce discrete displacements when we apply a dc electrical signal as the input here if we say discrete displacement which is nothing but motion it is different from dc motor here dc motor produces continuous rotation on applying dc voltage whereas stepper motor produces discrete rotation when we apply dc voltage if we say discrete rotation which means step wise rotation so stepper motor is different from dc motor dc motor produces the continuous rotation on applying dc voltage whereas stepper motor produces discrete rotation when we apply the dc voltage if we say discrete rotation which means it will produce step wise rotation so dc motor produces continuous rotation stepper motor produces step wise rotation the stepper motor is widely used in industrial applications consumer electronics robotics control systems etc so they are widely used in industrial applications consumer electronics robotics and control systems we can give an example for stepper motor if you have seen a printer the paper feed mechanism of a printer or fax machine will make use of stepper motor for its function the paper feed mechanism that is used in printer or fax machine will use stepper motor for its function so this is the real time example of stepper motor there are two types of stepper motor first one is unipolar stepper motor and another one is bipolar stepper motor first let us understand what is unipolar stepper motor this figure shows the unipolar stepper motor it consists of two windings per phase so as you can see here it consists of two windings per phase the direction of rotation of stepper motor in both clockwise and anti clockwise direction is controlled by changing the direction of current flow the current in one direction will flow in one coil and in opposite direction it flows through the other coil here coil a and b carries the current in opposite direction for phase 1 and coil b and d carries the current in opposite direction for phase 2 here you need to remember that only one of the coil will carry the current at a time second type is bipolar stepper motor bipolar stepper motor consists of single winding per phase so as you can see here it consists of single winding per phase so this is for phase 1 and this is for phase 2 current in one direction in the coil makes the motor rotate in clockwise direction and if we reverse the current direction the motor will rotate in anti clockwise direction so we can say the current in winding is reversed so that we can reverse the motor rotation now let us understand different stepping modes in stepper motor there are three stepping modes in stepper motor first one is full step second one is wave step and third one is half step now let us understand full step stepping mode in stepper motor here we are considering four coils a b c d and there are four steps in full step mode so depending upon the step required we are energizing the coils so h represents high l represents low so high represents we are energizing the coil and low represents the coil is not energized 
sometimes h is also represented as 1 and l is also represented as 0. In the first step, coil A and B is energized and coil C and D is not energized or they are low. So, if coil A and B is energized, the rotor in the stepper motor will be in between coil A and B as you can see here. And when coil B and C is energized, the rotor in the stepper motor will be between B and C. And when coil C and D is energized, the rotor will be in between C and D as you can see in this figure. And when coil A and D is energized, the rotor will be in between coil A and D as you can observe from this diagram. Now, let us understand the wave step stepping mode. Again, in wave step stepping mode, there are four steps and depending upon the step required, we are energizing the coil. So, in wave step, we are energizing the single coil. If we compare this with this full step, we are energizing two coils in full step and in wave step, we are energizing only one coil. So, in the first step, coil A is energized or the current is passed through coil A. So, at that case, the rotor of the stepper motor will be towards coil A. So, in the same way, if coil B is high, the rotor will be towards coil B. If coil C is high, the rotor will be towards coil C and if coil D is high, the rotor will be towards coil D. The next stepping mode is half step. Here half step is combination of both full step and wave step. As you can see, for the first step, we are energizing only one coil. For the second step, we are energizing two coils. For the third step, we are energizing only one coil. And for step 4, we are energizing two coil. So, when coil A is high, the rotor will be towards coil A. When coil A and B are high, the rotor will rotate towards coil A and B in between coil A and B. In the same way, when coil B is high, the rotor will rotate towards coil B. And in the next step, when coil B and C are high, the rotor will be in between coil B and C. So, this process will continue. So, these are different stepping modes in stepper motor. Now, this diagram shows a stepper motor interface with microcontroller or microprocessor. As you can observe from this figure, the stepper motor is interfaced with microcontroller through a driver circuit. So, the driver circuit is connected to the port pin of microcontroller and to the driver circuit, the stepper motor is connected. So, from this we understood that we can't directly interface a stepper motor to a microcontroller or a processor. We need to use a driver circuit in between so that the stepper motor can be driven. This is about a stepper motor, types of stepper motor, different stepping modes in stepper motor as well as the stepper motor interface with microcontroller and processor. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.